The 2022 elections are quickly approaching, but voters might need to do a little more work this year to get to know their candidates. 3 News Now reporter Alex Whitney is in the studio to tell us why. Alex. That's right, Mark. Voters who are hoping to get to know the candidates for governor are going to have to seek them out themselves this year, as one campaign has announced that they won't be participating in any debates. Like the holiday season, there are plenty of traditions that go along with election season. Voters have come to expect the traditional election season activities like campaign stops, shaking hands and kissing babies. But arguably the most well-known election season tradition are debates. I really believe that the voters miss out on really good information when they're not able to see good debates. Unfortunately, it seems like debates will be one tradition that is set aside this election season, at least for our gubernatorial candidates. The Republican candidate in this year's race, Jim Pillen, has declined invitations from several outlets and recently announced that he won't be participating in any debates. In a statement provided to KMTV, Pillen's campaign manager, Kenny Zeller, said in part, any gubernatorial debate would only be political theater pushed by left-leaning media looking to prop up the Democrat candidate's sad campaign. I really think that it's unacceptable that another campaign is allowed to hold the debates hostage, first of all. I think that that's very telling and that Nebraskans should see that as a red flag. Pillen's campaign said that they won't debate, but that doesn't mean that Pillen isn't out meeting voters. In that same statement, Zoller says Jim Pillen has been the most accessible gubernatorial candidate in Nebraska's history, outworking every other opponent in this process. Campaigning through more than 500 events across all 93 Nebraska counties, including five candidate forums, 32 Nebraska Farm Bureau town halls, and 23 press conferences, as well as teletown halls and countless media interviews. Those often are events that you control the environment. They're often uh, invite only. Um, they are often in communities that you feel will be friendly to you. The debate is kind of a wild card. Because he has declined to participate, the State Fair has announced that it will be canceling this year's gubernatorial debate. Reporting live in the studio, Alex Whitney, 3 News Now.